Yes, friends, we are back today with another recipe. Today we're going to be doing um, a roast in the the Instant Pot, the pressure cooker. I was going to go ahead on and get everything set up before I brought you in, but I wanted to show you exactly what type of roast we're having. We're going to be using a chuck, chuck roast. So um, the ingredients we're going to be using is onion, bell pepper. I've sliced up some garlic over here on the side. Also, beef broth, gravy, ranch seasoning, and Creole seasoning. And this is some flour that I'm going to use to kind of batter the roast in before we put it in the crock pot. A lot of people would look at this and kind of call it a Mississippi pot roast, which I'm not going to call it that because I'm going to tweak it and do other things to it. So I'm going to go ahead, wash the meat, and bring you back and get the Instant Pot set up, and we'll go get it um, started from there. Okay, so I went on ahead and brought you back because I wanted you to see exactly how I'm going to do the roast. And then I'm going to um, set the the Instant Pot up. And I know I apologize. I said crock pot um, the last time. It's not a crock pot. We're using the Instant Pot. So I did want to bring you back and show you how I'm flouring it. And then I'm going to set the camera where you can actually see inside the um, Instant Pot as we putting the ingredients in. So this is basically what we're doing. We're just getting a just a nice little coating on it on both sides. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the Instant Pot set up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take our roast, and we're just going to go ahead and put it inside the Instant Pot. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the gravy pack. We're going to go ahead next with the ranch. We're going to dump our vegetables in now. And we're going in with our beef broth. So, this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to go ahead now. Get it set up. So, I have the Instant Pot set up for one and a half hours. So, we're going to let that go. We're going to come back and check it. It should be pretty good in an hour and a half, but if not, we'll make some adjustments, but we're going to set it at an hour and a half, and we're going to start from there. Okay, we are finally back with the finishing product of our pot roast. This is the finishing product here. What we're working with. So, I did have to go, I, you know, I said it in the beginning for an hour and a half, so I did have to go in and add an additional hour to it. To get it tendered um, the way that I wanted it to be. So you can kind of, you know, test it. You know, do the timing that you feel like you may need. And go back and check it and add additional time if you need to. Um, I really appreciate everybody coming and watching my videos. Please take the time to like and comment. Subscribe and tell me what you think if you try the recipe out. Or anything you may like to see. But I'm, I'm very grateful and appreciative that y'all are coming and watching my videos. Thank you.